Good morning, dear friends. It's Fisher here. So today we continue with our beautiful stories, The Power of the Spirit by Alfred Hosp, also known as Freddy in the book. So today we continue with our story 40, part D. Uh, now Bruno's going to talk about a big, big secret that most of us, uh, especially these days in the Western world, we do not believe anymore. Okay, so Bruno, a while and said, about a story about uh, uh, the young daughter taking on her mother's uh, affliction because she had been uh, intensely pondering over the past of whatever her mother suffered. So this is should serve as a lesson. So do not believe or do not uh, pay attention to evils. So whatever like your parents or grandparents' sufferings, they are not yours. So do not see always think about it and so you do not pick it up yourself it's because where we focus is where the energy will go okay and Bruno Wang said this story my dear friends should also be a lesson for you never concern yourselves with evil for otherwise it will take possession of your of you faster than you would think possible just as you have absolutely no idea of what in the spiritual realm is actually going going on in the graveyards amongst the so-called dead there is more misery hopelessness and despair than amongst the living of those who have passed over do in truth continue to live but people can only see and speak with those that have a physical body they cannot hear others. Even when they call and wail as loudly as they can. That is why so many people believe that those who are invisible to human eyes are no longer existent. But the truth is the exactly opposite. Those who do not possess a body anymore and who have taken evil into themselves, suffer more than those who are incarnated. For although many people are exposed to the most severely bodily torments, what they are feeling is actually being muted and torn down, precisely by the body. Just consider, for example, that during sleep sensitivity to pain is more or less switched off. Fainting produces exactly the same effect of relief in a more temporary way. For a purely spiritual being, however, there is neither sleep nor any time to rest. The spirit is always awake and experiences without interruption the consequences of its wrongdoings. Sin in this way it already becomes clear that it is always a grace of God when a spiritual being, after a previously determined time, is once more given the opportunity of a new incarnation. Uh, wow, this is a, a lot to take in. So basically, uh, the first point that Bruno made is and whoever left the physical body or whoever passed on or passed over and then their spirit is still living because we are the spiritual beings and then the spiritual being for being a spiritual being it's eternal the energy does not disappear it does not end so basically it's merely a transition a transformation so basically like uh, when we have a birth we come into the physical body we come to into the physical realm the physical reality and then when we die so-called die and then we basically like transition into the spiritual the non-physical realm the non-physical reality and then bruno said and then basically like uh, whoever has done whoever taken evil into themselves and then after they pass away they basically just tormented by whatever they're doing in the past and then you could consider this is a punishment but rather it's karmic effect so whatever you take into your body will come out so so basically if we have a peace in our in our body in our mind the peace will come out if we have a, a fight anger 
in our body, inside us. It has to come out. And then the worst thing for the spirit or living in the spiritual realm is there's no rest because spirit doesn't eat, doesn't rest. They just always awake. And then they're crying, they 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 wailing, and then they can do whatever to the physical, to the one who possess possess physical bodies. But ninety nine point nine 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 percent of the time, people don't hear them. It's because like、uh, the physical eyes cannot perceive whatever the、uh, whatever's in the spiritual reality. So whatever in the non-physical reality, we cannot perceive that. So we cannot see, but of course,、uh, some people do have the special ability to see so-called ghosts, which is just、uh, the spirit hiding there, because if they pass and then they do not,、uh, you know, move on, and then they they hiding there often in the graveyard, and then they just,、uh, phew, I don't know, what's the word I should describe them? Suffering, basically suffering the consequences, whatever they have bring to themselves, which is the wrongdoing, whatever they have done for others. Whatever the good or bad they have done to others, you will bear the consequences, which is called cause effect. If you cause something, you have the effect. The cause effect, like a birth and death, so they come together. They don't disappear, like or they don't exist, like singularity in singularity. So, dear friends, so be conscious of each day how you live your life. Be conscious. Always ask yourself, "What have I done? What have I done right? What have I done wrong?"、So、always reflect on your life, and always follows the God guidance and walk on God path. So this way, and then we live a conscious life, and then with conscious life, and then we、we'll、live a healthy life. With healthy life, and then we、we'll、live at the end to our redemption. So basically, like、uh, when we have learned everything in this life, so we do not cause any harm to others. So and then we remain in peace in absolute every situations, and then the impulsion of reincarnation ceases. So basically, like we broke down the the karma st- the karmic structure, the cause effect structure. So. To break down this structure, and then, as I said, always need to follow God's guidance, and only focus on the good. Do good, think good, talk good, and do good. So at the end of days, and then we break down the karmic structures, and the karmic structure will dissolve, and then we don't have to be reincarnated again, out of our karma. But of course, like some spirits, some highly evolved、uh, spiritual beings, like Bruno or others. Always do to choose to come back to guide humanity. So that is another case. Okay, dear friends. I wish you have a good day and God bless.